Look at some of the damage. We brought you breaking news coverage of the fire Wednesday night at the Anchor Glass Container Corporation near Highway 62 and Bullinger Street. Fox 23's Preston Jones is live this afternoon with what he's just learned about the cause of this fire. Preston. Yeah, Tiffany, the fire chief confirms that fire started in the basement of the glass plant somewhere in one of the oil pipes and caused significant damage to about four of the shop rooms. You can see out here today, the plant is open. The parking lot is full. We've been talking with employees. Those employees tell me that today is all about cleanup and also assessing the damage. Those employees also say they're just glad to see that the plant is still here and that they still have a job. I'm not going to lose my job. I thought everything was burnt down and from all the pictures. Massive flames shooting out of the anchor glass plant Wednesday night. Blake Wilson works at the plant and says that video scared him. My parents was calling me and my brothers were calling me because they thought I was still in here. People who live in the neighborhood right across the street also scared by the size of that fire. The fire itself made the plant look small. You know, it just totally engulfed the entire plant there at first. So. Henrietta police considered evacuating the area, but some of the neighbors say they left as soon as they saw those flames. That was kind of a scary moment thinking, you know, a fire that big. And I mean, I know, like, I know a lot of people work there, just like everybody in this town, you know, family and friends work there. This is video of the damage from inside the glass plant. We got this from one of the employees. You can see all of the burned debris and equipment from that fire. Police say 75 employees were here at the time. None of them hurt. The fire started in a machine shop and the employees had to go into emergency shutdown operations. Several dozen firefighters were here last night working to get things under control. You don't see this very often. You see little minor stuff here and there. Um, but this is kind of like the ultimate fear of walking out and seeing, you know, seeing a, the plant look like that. And back out here live, you can see all of the burn marks on the side of the building. That white part up top actually used to be blue. That's how much of this was burned. There is significant damage done to this building. We've talked with so many people here in the community today. They say that this glass plant is really a staple here in Henrietta. Just about everyone knows someone who's worked here or has a family member who's worked here. I've also reached out to the company several times this morning trying to get more information and a statement from them. Uh, much more information throughout this newscast and on Fox 23 News tonight at 5. Live in Henrietta, covering news that matters. I'm Preston Jones, Fox 23 News.